What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I'm your boy Richie Hustles. Today I have a video uh, featuring Bearded Picker and Steve. This isn't a video where it was on my show, but they actually uh, gave me the opportunity to come on to their show and defend my position. If you guys remember this video right here, the uh, Pokemon McDonald's incident and whatnot. What happened was somebody was in Bearded Picker's chat talking mad-ish. Somebody told me about it. So I hopped into the chat, being who I am, told Bearded Picker if I could be, uh, if he could send me a link to be on the live show. So I ended up jumping in, talking with uh, Bearded Picker and Steve. Sorry, Bearded Picker, I don't know your real name, but talk to these guys. They were pretty cool guys to talk to. This was the video that uh, a lot of people gave me some negative feedback, some positive feedback. Some people just don't care. It is what it is, but it's a great little uh, little piece. If you want to check out Bearded Picker, I'll put his link down in the description below. You can check out Bearded Picker. So without further ado, enjoy. They found on YouTube about reselling. They're doing something right to be able to be discovered by people who aren't into reselling, who have a, a little bit of a desire to try to find out about it. Hey, Rich, so Rich is on the chat. I don't know to love you or hate you, man. I just. I, I don't, don't think you watch, said much. I did. I don't watch resellers. <laughs> Hold up. Change my mind, man. That's how I feel about it. Sometimes I, I, I watch your videos. You're you're very much over the top. Your, your little Pokemon deal there kind of turned me off a little bit. But at McDonald's, they don't have to sell anything to anybody. Damn! Oh, God, my fucking knee! That's my knee! Damn it! Oh man! But other than that, I mean, changed my mind. I've watched your stuff. I just don't watch resellers. It's you get when you when you when you live and breathe reselling. Somebody much. must have. Somebody must be friends with Richie in here. God damn! There's like three or four resellers that I will watch their stuff a lot, but most of the time. It's, I watch a lot of van life. I watch a. <laughs> I could tell you, I had the same opinion about 10K on the bay. What, what's what's he going with? Daily refinement. Yeah, I hated him. Hated him. But now I watch him. I'm like, okay, you know, I had he's not. I didn't find him genuine at the beginning. Now Chris, Chris has made. He he'll admit he made some mistakes. The Instagram thing was a uh, not Instagram, but uh, Poshmark thing was a little. He probably shouldn't have said that. Chris has got good information. Uh, he's he's generally a positive guy who uh, uh, he helps a lot of people. I'm all right with that. You know, there are a lot of people that watch Risky Hustles that would never watch me. And you know, you, everybody's got a different. Um, everybody's got a different audience, man. If if you've got to be you, you've got to be. That's the one thing about YouTubers. If you're not genuine, if you're not yourself, people figure it out pretty damn quick. Andy, Andy and I have had discussions about Richie and what we like and what we don't like about Richie. And Andy was a big fan until that Pokemon thing. So that's why there's nobody out on the streets here. Throwing a fit when you can't get your way. Just childish. You know what? You've been picking fights with everybody. That's how we felt about it. Now, some of your content is really good and informative. Some of it is just a little, to me, over the top. I don't like over the top. Uh, content. It's just not my thing. You know, I'll, I'll give you another, well, I won't give you another example. There's some people I followed back in the day and every once in a while I'll still check in on their video are not genuine at all. But at the beginning you thought they were and they got a huge following, but they're assholes in real life. And I don't know if they're assholes in real life, but to people that they know, if they don't, if they're, if they want them out of their life, they're done, you know, that kind of thing. And that, and so these over the top people, that's why I get that attitude about them because I feel it it's, it doesn't come across always as genuine to me. That's all. Yeah, so there's uh, Rich's there, Pokemon. Yeah, I know, I know it was content, but it can be a turnoff for people who don't care for that sort of thing. That's all. Hey, Rich, you check. You just got a new sub, man. I've never watched one of your videos. I'm gonna check you out. See what you. The great thing about this show is nobody listens to me anyway. <laughs> so it probably just got him a couple of subs. So I, I hope I didn't offend Richie. I was just giving my opinion. And it hasn't changed. I'll watch more of his stuff, and maybe he'll change my mind. That's yeah, it, And that's the great, that's the beauty about being a human being in this country, is that you can change your mind on a whim. And I do a lot, so. <laughs> All right, Richie, there you go. I'll, I'll leave it up there long enough. Grab the, grab the link and I'll delete it. Richie, what's up, what's man? Up? What's up, guys? Hey, I hope I, hope I didn't offend you, man.
No, no, listen, listen. I understand 100% that no matter what I do, you're never going to please anybody. You know, every, you know, people's content are not going to uh, resonate with people all the time. And I respect that. And I respect your opinion. I respect anybody that, that can actually say, hey, you know what? I liked your shit until you did X, Y, and Z. That really wasn't for me. Because then that helps me. If you've noticed, I've never done another kind of like Pokemon or shock value video like that. Because there was some lashback. There was there was a lot of good feedback, but there was also it takes it takes a it takes a good uh, uh, a man to come on this show. Sorry, we lost you there for a second, Richie. Ah, uh, no. So I was just saying that you know I'm just uh, I'm not an easily offended guy, and I respect everybody's point of view, and it, it helps me as a uh, as a content creator, as a reseller, as you know, it kind of shows me which direction to to go in you know got good feedback got more than normal bad feedback so we just don't put out content like that again you know what i mean now do is that my is that my mo all the time no but i did put out a uh, a a video when i did with west coast goods i don't know if you guys know west coast goods out in california where i was talking about the authenticity of people and sometimes i'm having a bad day you know when i do lives i can come off as a prick sometimes am i like that all the time no but that's just i'm a human you know what i mean Sup, n***a? You wanna talk some shit? Call me. Start some shit, I'm, so that's, I'm that's a prick all really the time, so. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, listen, I just I just wanted to, it's, it's hard to, to text a lot, text a lot, and, you know, we just had some people in, um, on your show that were coming onto my channel, and, um, uh, just really kind of laying in, talk, just really talking uneducated you know, about, oh, he shows items what he's buying, but now it's only selling for this. Well, no shit. It's, it's, Amazon is like a living, breathing marketplace. It does, it's not a static marketplace. If just right. because I show something on a Monday or a Sunday night live and I'm saying, oh, look, it's selling for $24, that doesn't mean by Wednesday it's still going to be selling for $24. You know, somebody to make a comment like that just doesn't understand the market. You know, they don't understand, they don't understand economics as right. more. Okay. So you're starting off with an item that's either hot, the demand is being satisfied. The price is going to drop. Pro products going to disappear. The price is going to go back up when there's not a supply. Supply and demand. It, it's not a price. People are not price dropping, folks. There's more. There's more supply. It's the natural market going up and down. Right. I, I can't so, tell you know, how many how many items I bought for Amazon. That by the time I got home, the price was totally different than when I looked totally at it. Totally different. Store. Totally different. Even, I mean, even from the point of, you know, packing your items and shipping it in, sometimes it could change drastically. Thank God for reprices. You know, you can hold your price and, you know, wait for it to come up, wait for everybody else to sell out. But, um, Bearded, I've been following you for, for a while now. So thank you for even allowing me to even come in and, uh, and talk. I appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, that's why I, I tell everybody, I've, I've made it up a long time ago, the Ricky Bobby School of Resale. And if you're not first, you're last. <laughs> and it, it is it is so true. It's it's helping to explain to people who don't understand economics. You gotta be first in or you gotta be last out. You know, in the middle, you just get chewed up. And right. the, oh, sometimes the the middle, like, if your price, if you can get it for a good price, the middle's okay. You can still make a lot of money. But for mm -hmm. the most part, if you're not in it the first, you're not in it the last, uh, you're just trying to get out of it. And it's right. Richie, I gotta I think, say, I, I have yeah. I have new respect for you because I mean, anybody who can come on a show when they're being criticized, you know, and then come in and defend themselves because a lot of people wouldn't. They just they get mad, maybe make an angry YouTube video about it. Make an angry YouTube video. We've had that in the past. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I don't like, and, I don't like and tell your side of the story, man. And 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 you know, it does take a little bit of balls to do that. Uh, when somebody's against you, right? So right. You, you may, maybe you've regained a little bit of my respect, and I like it. So <laughs> it's good. I'll, I'll start watching you again. <laughs> hey, listen, I appreciate it. You know, and, 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 you know, as far as the reselling thing goes, listen, all I do with YouTube, I never plan to, to get this many uh, subscribers for what I have, which I'm so grateful for. I've never, I've never thought that I would even get that far because I just kind of took a page out of Gary, and I know it's going to sound cliche, right? Um, you know, I took a page out of Gary Vee's book, you know what I mean? But, you know, he said document. And I was like, you know what? If I'm going to be out reselling and going to these stores, why not just document and take people along for the ride? So document versus create. 
I mean, if you want to be respected and really known, show the f up. Enough listening, start doing shit. Don't be scared, and if you're scared, find somebody who's not scared, make them your partner. Like it's action, it's going, it's doing. And if you're passionate about something in your world, you can make a big difference. You've got to pump out content. Uh, because of that, a lot of people think now that, oh, well, you know, he's making money from YouTube and, you know, he doesn't care about what he shows on reselling. Like, I think people forgot. Like, I started with Amazon. Amazon's still my main business. Um, you know, I, I most definitely care about making money with Amazon. I just left my nine to five about a week, week and a half ago. I support a family of four. I moved 1,500 miles away from Massachusetts down to Florida. Um, and, you know, I, I have my business. You know, it is what it is. So, you so know, you're, somebody. You're, who you're not in Massachusetts anymore? No, no, I came down uh, to Florida here in uh, South Florida in the middle of July. Oh, nice. I, I, say, I, what little videos I've seen you, I, I knew you were up north. Uh, my buddy Dan yep. lives up there, so I, I knew you were in his area. But that's I stayed uh, I stayed a night in Massachusetts last week. Yeah, nice. Chicopee. Yeah, happy to get out of Massachusetts, though, and uh, even happier to be in Florida. So, um, you know, a lot of opportunity down here, just kind of getting settled in and just going to start cranking out content and – if people can like it or people cannot like it, it is what it is. You know, I don't, I don't aim to please everybody. You know, I'm, I think it's pretty naive to think, you know, you'll put out content and make everybody happy. You know, it's, I make, it's I make one or two videos a, uh, a year and I have my haters, man. So I get it. <laughs> right. You, you can't. Cause if you start trying to make content that please everybody, you're not you anymore. And then, I mean, if, if you were just doing that for content or the shock value, yeah, so it wasn't like, genuine. Right. Yeah, I mean, look, it, it was, it was, the way it started was I walked in. Now, this was probably the third or fourth McDonald's I walked in. Now, I wasn't getting even, honestly, I didn't even want the Pokemon stuff to resell. I'm a collector myself. I literally opened every single one of those packs on a live video. So I didn't even sell those. But the way it started was I walked in and, and you know, I asked, I said, hey, what's, what's your minimum for, for Pokemon? And they were like, um... We can't sell it without the Happy Meal. I said, okay, can I just have a few Happy Meals? And they're like, well, you can only have one. And I'm like, what if I wanted to order like 100? And they were like, well, no, you can't do that. I said, okay, can I just talk to somebody, maybe a manager that will let me do it, right? I just wanted to see how far I could go before I could just finally take the no, right? So the guy comes over and he literally didn't even give me a chance. He didn't even ask me what I wanted. He was just staring at me and I was like, do you guys have a limit like on, on how many or is, is it just one? And he was like, you need to get out and leave. And I was like, what do you mean I need to get out and leave? Get the f out. So that interaction led to him actually <laughs> calling the cops. And I said, well, if you're going to call the cops, let me run out to my car and get my phone. Cause this could actually get pretty interesting. So I went out to my car and that's when I grabbed my phone. And that's when I started recording was after he kind of like kicked me out and I was kind of like confused. Why did you kick me out? I was just asking you what the limit is. And I don't know if he was dealing with any prior BS from anybody earlier. I, I don't know. But his, his response kind of pissed me off a little bit. So I said, well, let me get this phone and let me just kind of like have fun with it. And then, you know, it was what it was. And the police were actually really cool. I got a trespassing notice, but I never went to that McDonald's anyway. So, you know, <laughs> it was what it was. And I said, let me, let me upload it. But, you know, a lot of people thought, oh, you were pissed off. You couldn't make a dollar off of kids' toys. And I'm like, but I didn't even sell any of those Pokemon cards. Because if people follow my channel, you'd see that I, I had a video, a live video that's still up. It says I opened up 100 uh, McDonald's Pokemon packs. And I literally opened up 100 of them. So, lesson man, learned. I chased, you know I I mean? chased a few of those too, man. But, uh, yeah. I ate three. I think my limit of eating a Happy Meals was three. I couldn't handle any more than that. <laughs> But let's no, 200, you know. 260 pounds probably because of that, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, yeah, I mean, I, I respect the hustle. Trust me, man. I respect that. I mean, I was out there looking for Pokemons too. I, now, I, did I resell any of them? Nah. <laughs> I opened them all myself, a couple of uh, on live, but it was it was more the thrill to hunt than anything. And yeah. uh, so I respect the fact that you're out there looking for them. And you can't, you can't fault that. It was just a little bit of how that video came across, and, right. and it, it was it, a big turn off. It, it, it was a big to, turn off for a lot of people. So. Yeah, and I mean, it was supposed to be made for dramatic effect. You know what I mean? Like it wasn't, it wasn't supposed to be like, "I am being nice." It was just kind of like, "Let's see how this kind of video goes off." I said, "It's either going to go viral or it's not going to go viral," and it kind of went the opposite way. And let's learn.
it is what it, it is. could have went it could have went the other way you know right i mean there's a lot of people out there who make that kind of content all the time and, and right. there is a genre out there for right. it but yeah, do Seth, I watch them? Nah. <laughs> Seth, uh, gary's right so gary go dog go in the comments but it says you should build about 40 half meals if you wanted a guy did it here and gave the half meals away within 10 minutes that would have been that's the video that would have went I, love, I think a lot of it's how oh. you approach these people yeah, too i i go into places and if they even have a hint that i'm a reseller won't sell me anything but the next place i go if i approach it right you know i don't have to tell them i'm reselling shit. you know uh there was uh we, we buy a certain mm -hmm. feminine product to sell on amazon and we buy a lot of them and uh somebody asked me what are you guys doing with all these we we redistributed them to people who need them so if you if you come across the right way to these people you know a lot of times they're gonna bend over backwards to sell you 40 happy meals or whatever it is now that manager yeah. was probably just a dick right? right sometimes that happens and you get that no matter how good and nice and, and how you approach it but if yeah if and even when when i did find a manager that did allow me to buy uh 100 which is what i was referring to that manager i actually asked for the actual happy meal food because i planned on donating the food right. but they said if i was going to order a hundred they weren't going to have the time right then and there to actually make 100 Happy Meals. You know what I mean? Um, so they said you can buy it without the Happy Meal or you can do it like in increments. And on that day, I was kind of pressed for time. And I'm like, well, I can't, I kind of can't wait for you to make like 100 Happy Meals in increments, like 20 now and then like an hour, another 20. And then after that, another 20. You know, they just weren't prepared to make 100, which I understood. So I'm like, you know what? Just give me the cards. I'll pay for it as it was a Happy Meal because I guess the problem was they had to put it on the receipt as right. selling it with the Happy Meal or else they would get in trouble. And I'm like, you know, whatever. It is what it is. Anyways, well, I didn't I, mean I to infiltrate. Uh, I didn't mean to infiltrate hey, no, man. Or, you know, live. <laughs> Anytime. Anytime. We're, about to, we're about to shut it down anyway. I got to go make some breakfast. Cool. I appreciate you guys. Hey, it's good to meet you, man. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later. Thanks, Richie. All right. Bye-bye. That's pretty All cool. Right, uh, so I, 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 hope, I hope that him coming in here has at least made a lot of us, including myself, and I know Andy said it too, give this guy a second chance. You know, he made one video that pissed us off, but that doesn't mean the guy's a dick. You know, he might be. I don't know. But judging from what we had today, uh, the conversation we had with him today, it's, he seems like a pretty cool guy. So, Absolutely. Oh,